Hey, what's up? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. PM Scott Morrison says he doesn't want anyone attending protests this weekend. He says they're a real health risk because they could spread COVID-19. But organisers say they're going ahead. Here's Charlotte. There's some powerful scenes, but our PM doesn't want to see a repeat of them this weekend. Do not go to those rallies. Do not go to those rallies. You are putting others' lives at risk. There were mass gatherings around the country last week in support of Black Lives Matter, but now the government's worried they could have helped spread COVID-19 after a man who attended this protest in Melbourne tested positive to the virus. But when it comes to the issue of gatherings and protests, the health advice says it put other Australians' lives at risk, including in particular Indigenous lives. Many states have now banned protests for the time being, and say if people do show up, they could be fined or arrested. But some protesters say that's not going to stop them. You know, that won't stop us trying to organise protests, it won't stop us trying to organise something on Saturday. Some say they can protest while still following social distancing rules, and some say they just want to get their message out there. But the official message is to stay at home. NASA is hiring a private company to fly a rover to the surface of the moon where it will look for water. The company is called Astrobotic and it will send the Viper rover, about the size of a golf cart, into space and land it on the moon. NASA hopes the rover will get a close-up view of the moon's surface and successfully find concentrations of water. Now, Queen Elizabeth is 94, but she'll still happily get around a Zoom call. This is her very first video conference. Well, at least publicly. She held it to mark Carers Week and chatted to people who are looking after their family members and have been working extra hard during the pandemic. I'm very glad to have been able to join you today. The AFL is back. Collingwood took on Richmond last night, but it was an unusual match in more ways than one. Here's Nat. OK, here's the scoop. The Magpies took on the Tigers in the AFL's first match back since the COVID-19 pandemic cancelled everything. In an act of solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, both teams knelt before the game. But the match itself wasn't exactly everything that fans hoped it would be, with the match ending in a draw. The second time they've had a draw. It's the first time the teams have drawn since 1917, and the lowest combined score of any game in more than 20 years. But the most controversial part of the night came from this mark by Richmond's Jack Higgins. Here are these angles, we can see the ball is clearly marked before crossing the bank of the behind. Wow. Many watching thought it should have gone through for a point. Instead, the mark was paid and Higgins went on to kick a goal. The game was played without fans in the arena and with shorter 16-minute quarters. They're meant to make sure players are fresher after the extended break. But many fans and even some players have spoken out against it. Still, others are happy just to have footy back in 2020. Now this next segment is about the mismatched, the misplaced or downright confusing. That's not where that goes. This is a very famous, very valuable painting by the secretive British artist Banksy. But that's not the weird bit. The weird bit is that it was stolen from a theatre in Paris last year and just showed up in someone's farmhouse in a tiny village in Italy. The people living there apparently had zero idea it was even there. Huh, mysterious. This is Hoppy, a pet wallaby that's been found after escaping its home in the US. The neighbour called me and said, uh... That hoppy is down the street and the cops are trying to wrangle him. I says, well, just don't scare him, pick him up. Wait, why is a wallaby being kept as a pet? And why is he in the US? Apparently the police were pretty confused about it too. I'd say it's likely more a wallaby based on size. Okay, without my ready reference of North American land animals, is that smaller or larger than a kangaroo? Forget picnics, these teddy bears are going on a roller coaster. But they're not just here for the thrills. These fluffy toys have the important job of social distancing people at this reopened amusement park in Copenhagen. And the best part is they're never too scared to get on. They look a little bored, if anything. Well, if you want to see more shows like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.